Hey, my name is Isil Khan and in this episode, we will be just determining the volume of a brick chimney, okay? So our approach here is just the determination of a brick chimney. And of course, you may have seen this guy in different shapes, like a square, elliptical, rectangular, circular. Also, sometime can be found this guy in the palm of a presidium, okay? All of these four are just simple except the presidium. So we'll focus on this guy. So in this video, we'll be just estimating the volume of a brick chimney having presidium type shape. All right, so for this approach, let me just assume the shape and the dimension just like in this palm is, you can see it's been shown, okay, with the height is 15 meter. So let's say if we are asked to determine the volume of this guy, so how can we do that? All right, as you can see the data is given, so I'll come directly into the solution. And in the solution, um, if you remember the previous video for the volume of a slum cone, we have used this formula, okay, for a solid Fresdom volume. This is just a simple formula, h by 3 times a1 plus a2 plus square root a1 times a2, okay? So this is just for a solid Fresdom volume, okay? And as you can see, you may have noticed our presidium is just hollow, not a solid. So we'll make some supposition over here. Like the volume must be the volume of outer presidium minus the volume of inner presidium. That's so simple. Just we'll subtract the inner presidium from the outer presidium. There is nothing complicated over here. You can also write this thing in the palm of formula like V equals, okay, the volume of a outer presidium must be this guy h by 3 times a1 plus a2 plus square root a1 n times a2 minus the volume of inner presidium must be this guy. Okay, formula is just same for both guys. I have just replaced the, uh, you can say the capital uh, A with the small a. Also, you may have noticed that uh, we have h by 3 is common. So we can take this guy is a common uh, from both formulas. So now we got a new formula for this approach. I mean, if we need to determine the volume of this hall of residuum, we'll use this formula, okay? And here, we just need uh, all of these things, a1, a2, and the small a1 and small a2, okay? These are also known by the top and bottom areas. Like you can say, uh, let me just calculate a1. Here, a1 must be pi times d squared divided by 4. And I'm going to take this guy as d1, and that is just the... Uh, big one circle okay uh, at the base having diameter is 5 meter so you can say the area must be pi times 5 square divided by 4 and that is going to be 19.634 square meter and then again a2 and this is going to be pi d2 square divided by 4 here I'm gonna take the top one big diameter which is 1.6 so pi times 1.6 square divided by 4 and that is going to be 2.01 square meter. Now we are going to calculate the areas for the inner presidium, okay? And let's say the small a which is going to be pi d1 square divided by 4 and here we have d1 is 4.40 that is the big circle you can say, okay, for the inner presidium. And that is going to be pi times 4.4 square divided by 4, which is of course 15.205 square meter. And then again, uh, do this guy for the offer top small circle, you can say, okay, uh, in palm of pi d2 square divided by 4, and that is going to be pi times 1 square divided by 4, because the diameter over there is just 1 meter. And that must be 0 0.785 square meter. So we got areas and there is nothing left over here. We just need to uh, put all these videos and date formula for the volume determination, okay? So let's go ahead. So we must be h by three. As you can see, h is 15 meter. So 15 divided by three times a1, which is 19.634, plus a2, which is of course 2.01, plus square root a1 and a2 again. And these are just the same thing, okay? And now put the videos for the inner presidium. I'll do this guy as a quick like this. Okay. I don't want the video to be longer. Okay. So V equals 15 divided by 3 times this guy. Okay. This is going to be uh, 27.926 minus the other approach is going to be 19.445. 
now by doing little math we can get of course the volume of this uh, chimney equals 42.40 cubic meter so finally we got the volume of the brick chimney equals 42.40 cubic meter and that's it hey if you like these types video please hit that subscribe button press the bell icon and never miss an update from an engineer boy thank you dears for watching see you next time